Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A very good morning, my dear lovely brothers and sisters. Um, I hope our fasting is proceeding well. Alhamdulillah. Um, today I'll be reacting to a video uh, that is titled The Angels That Protect You 24 7. So I'm curious to know uh, which angels do protect us 24 7 as we go through or we go about our days. So without wasting so much time, let's get into the video and understand uh, the, top, the topic. I love you Allah. So you see these incidents online where a person is walking on the street and they don't see a bunch of cars that are coming and a truck, this huge truck is about to collide into them and then suddenly it's as if an arm just pulls that truck away and it goes in a completely different direction or someone who misses four cars and they collide and that person just stands there and they're okay. Or uh, in some situations you see someone that is involved in a freak accident and you know the guy that's jogging on the beach and then suddenly a plane hits him while he's jogging on the beach or something along those lines and it's like you witness divine decree in precision. You witness that qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that perfect qadr of Allah. And then relate that to your own self. You know, sometimes you're on the highway and you're driving and you're supposed to be in a car accident. You know, you're doing something that distracts you and then in that moment of distraction, something horrible is about to happen and then you see what happens around you and you say, SubhanAllah, Allah protected me. Those that have seen their children, you know, fall. And if they would have fallen just a little bit differently, right? Then it would have hit the back of their head or this would have happened or that would have happened. All of these things that we witness in our lives obviously speak to the overwhelming power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they have something to do with the angels as well. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَهُ مُعَقِّبَاتُ مِنْ بَيْنِ يَدَيْهِ وَمِنْ خَلْفِ يَحْفَظُونَهُ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ That every single person has a guardian angel in front of them and behind them that protect them from the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, now um, it is true. Sometimes uh, when we go about our days, you know, a lot happens and uh, we, we feel like if just the thing had happened differently, slightly differently, the outcomes could have been so different, you know. Sometimes you're at home, like you fall or like a child falls and you see if, if the child has just fallen a little bit different, you know, a lot of problems will have come out. So a lot of things happen, but you see like those reflexes happening in a way that you can't imagine you know reflexes happening in the way that you can't imagine and where why where, where, where does that come from so i think this is trying to address that topic now that concept uh requires a lot of reflection number one the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know we're always so paranoid about the devils the devils the shayateen they're everywhere the jinn the jinn Every single human being has only one shaitan assigned to them and four angels assigned to them. Now, everything else that, that, that's invited into your life of angels or devils is invited as a result of your good deeds or your bad deeds. But every single person has, proportionally speaking, four angels that are with them and only one devil. Two angels that protect you and two angels that record on you. Okay, so the two angels that record and the two angels that guard you. But only one shaitan that whispers and tempts. But of course, environments and deeds invite more angels or more shayateen. But what do those guardian angels do and uh, what role do they play in our lives? Number one, they're always with you. They're with you during the day. They're with you when you sleep at night. They are with you for the most significant and insignificant moments of qadr, moments of divine decree in your life. Mujahid rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that those angels protect you from any wild animal, from any uh, riding animal, from any beast, from any person who wants to harm you. Even a namal fi udhunik, uh, an ant that would be in your ear, if the decree is not upon you to be harmed, those angels will shoo away those bugs, they will push away those objects that are coming your way and protect you. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said, when he was told that there was a tribe, the tribe of Murad, and they were planning to attack him, he said that 
they cannot harm me with anything unless Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed it. For Allah has set up guardian angels for each person. And the only time that a person is harmed is when those angels are told to stand down, when they move out of the way. And that's what Ibn Abbas ta'ala anhu, he said that out of obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those angels will protect you and they will be there for you and they will only move out of the way when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees otherwise. And this is a powerful concept on an individual level because you think about the story of the Prophet sallallahu and Jibreel alayhi salam protecting him from his enemies or the Muslims in the battle of Badr and the angels being sent in hundreds to protect them to where the Muslims could even see that their enemies were being thrown off of their horses and the sound of a whip crackling on someone and they don't see the whip and they don't see who's actually, uh, you know, who's actually doing it, but they were just seeing these things happen in front of them. Or the Prophet ﷺ I'm talking about the end of times where the Dajjal would try to enter into Medina, but he would find angels at its gate that are protecting it from all directions. In our own individual lives, if you think about that, what Ibn Abbas anhu mentions, that you have these angels that are in front of you and behind you. And the only time, the only time that they step aside is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees that harm is coming to you. And that harm is what was decreed in the womb, also written by an angel, that your date of death, your lifespan, and that moment for you to go is now. And so those angels move aside when the decree of death comes your way, only for your soul to be transferred to another group of angels with the shroud either of paradise or the shroud of hellfire. Uh, this video is so interesting because uh, now we are getting to learn that uh, every single human soul has uh, some angels, guardian angels, two, two guardian angels that are protecting you from any kind of harm and then you have two angels that are recording whatever you're doing. One is recording the good and another one is recording the bad. So with, with this simply is that uh, Simply, we, we get to understand that whatever harm that is coming to you as a human being, uh, in terms of accidents that you indulge in, you know, like harm that at least gets you as, as a person, is because uh, Allah has allowed it, you know, has instructed those guardian angels to leave way for that harm to, to come to you. So, and we also get to learn that your environment what you do in your environment normally attracts more because now if you have the proportion of angels to uh, the devil that is whispering to, to you you know to, to do the bad deeds it is four to one so you have like four angels and then you have one shaking. that means that uh, actually in actual sense we are more protected than we are uh, left out to the, to the one shayateen so the environment normally then so we should watch the environment that we uh, interact with so if your environment is a peaceful environment you will find yourself not getting so much harm and then if you have if you're always in an environment where things are there are more uh, devils you know like where things are happening then there is also a higher chance that you're going to get harm you know you're going to get involved in a lot of harm because now there you see that uh, you're in a place where there are more shayateen or there are more devils and that will kind of bring you into more trouble so let us we are we are learning here that we should actually watch our environment like places we interact you know we, we, we interact with you know like the, the environment we interact with places we like hanging out at you know it's so important that we should watch so imagine like you're in a masjid of course there will be more angels there so if you're this type of person who's always in the place of worship your day you, that's the place you mostly visit in your day then you're going to have a different type of uh, lifestyle and uh, less harm getting to you than somebody who's always in a place of chaos place of chaos and you find yourself getting into more trouble than the other person so i think this is basically what you can learn from this video um, if you enjoy my reaction, uh, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment uh, on the video and share it 
and with a friend. Uh, that's all for me today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.